hello friends in the last session we have seen how to apply different filters and uh, filters are of two types one is filter action uh, and another is mark action how to apply on the tableau dashboard we have seen and we have designed our javascript function for that apply filter okay and to this function we are passing four parameters okay the four parameters are the syntax is seat name then field name on which field you are going to apply and what value you want to filter and action are two type like filter action is one is mark action or mark operation another is filter and the difference between mark and filter is mark will only select the item uh, means highlight that and others will be faded out or grayed out and filter is that item will be displayed only and others will be hidden user can't see those okay we have applied the filters and mark action to education see worksheet this this sheet is education worksheet okay this one so let's apply that once again here we have applied the filter okay mark action bachelor degree so only bachelor degree is highlighted and others are in background if we apply the filter instead of that then only bachelor degree is shown so you understood the difference between two today let's try to apply these filter actions okay on some other sheets with different types okay let's in it is a grid okay in a tabular format it is applied let's select it let's select the employee id 780 okay through the filter so how to do that first seat name to get that uh, inspect let me open in in the same table let's do that in the network first find the seat name on selecting it the seat name is coming to be seat name is in payload the seat name is Mm -hmm. let's clean it one second select it it is not selected now it is selected see what is the seat name attrition details worksheet is attrition details this seat name is coming to be attrition details the developer has given the attrition details to the name of the seat you can see the label as a recent attrition but the developer's name is attrition detail okay so the seat name let me form that here attrition detail then is there any space no no space if there is space at the end you have to take it accordingly or let the developers fix that then double pipe then what value i am going to select the value i am going to select is uh, sorry on which column i am going to apply okay so to know the field name to apply the filter click on get the da data from that using get data see what is the response in the response in json viewer okay i told you to find the field caption field caption is employee number okay employee number and its data type is integer okay employee number and data type is integer so the column will be employee number okay and the number it is integer so the value would be e 780 okay because in get data when you are getting the data it is 780 is the value okay corresponding to employee id e 780 so as integer 78 provide the value 78 then pipe double pipe and it is a mark action okay we performed so perform that mark action i am refreshing the sheet so that it will load freshly and we will try to apply the filter see i am going to only highlight e780 so apply filter see 
see e7 8 is only highlighted others are in the background if you will now try to get the data only 7 8 data will be come not others get data only 7 8 details are coming yeah. the information like all these informations coming inside JSON corresponding to E780. If I am going to apply the data for let's say uh, E45. 45. Okay. Apply filter. So 45 is now highlighted. And if I will try to get the data of uh, get data now only. 45 data would be coming instead of others only it is giving me the 45 because 45 is selected now if I will perform the filter action what will happen see here all are selected okay in the filter if you want to simulate that action through that filter then mark it uh, instead of mark apply filter apply filter then apply filter only 45 is selected okay so now see from all the checkboxes now 45 is only selected so here the you know what is the difference between filter and mark and how to uh, like apply filter or how to highlight with the grid we are done okay let's uh, do the same thing on now if you will get the data it will be giving you only for 45 also now it is up to you which activity you are going to perform marker filter get data it will now give the same information of records per pertaining to the information of employee id 45 okay then let's refresh the sheet and let's work on do not chat okay do not chat let's try to select here the mail okay so to do that first we need to have the idea about this sheet okay so what is the sheet name inspect and network in network just click on anywhere on the sheet perform the same action select the sheet name is gender so now if we will provide gender clear it and get data you will get the data of that only mail is selected now so only the information pertaining to the mail uh, gender is coming okay 732 150 you can see here coming 150 and 732 would be also coming see the value is 732 also coming so you are able to get the data now how to apply this filter mm, Okay, so the API call we made using the while getting the data, capture the response, go to there and see what is the field caption there. Field caption is format it for better view. Field caption is gender and it accepts value as a string. Okay, so the column name is gender, double pipe gender, and the value you want to select male or female how to give cap caps are small see the value it is giving while getting the data is male so give the value as male and what action you performed here like the mark action so mark okay now it is clear i am copying it and reloading the sheet see i am reloading the sheet now uh, sheet has been refreshed to the initial state and i am going to uh, select only the mail okay click on apply filter see only mail is selected and if you will be collecting the data of the sheet now it would be giving you the mail only mail only okay only mail information is coming so what you have to do in your automation run in the selenium script if you are designing with java so let's say you have to fit the value set the text over here 
okay in the input box in the same format okay uh, and you just set the text here like you set email id password in the text box similarly set the value here and click on the button because these are the html buttons we have designed okay so this will initiate this will perform the action on the dashboard and when you click on get data you will be able to get the summary data of the particular sheet after the filter applied okay so from any city you can collect the data so if i will perform instead of a filter action if i will perform the uh, instead of mark if i will perform filter so what will happen only the male portion will be shown here and female portion will be hidden so do the same see only male is coming data and female portion no, is hidden okay so we are able to apply here okay male thing is filtered out let's refresh it and let's perform the same thing for female the female i want to perform the action on female apply filter now female value will be selected okay only female is selected and if you will get the data only female details should be coming and see only female data is coming that 87 is one value and another is 501 is also the value okay you can take as per the index it it is consistent and it will give you the same thing female so we are okay then we have selected a male female again if i want to capture sorry if i want to highlight this uh, let's say this this is the attrition so the attrition if i want to filter let's say mark okay how i'll do that the seat name would be same gender what would be the field name so for field name let's get the data capture the field uh, let know, know the field caption so in network click on get data this is the api call this is the response from the api call place here format it for better view see the field caption it is gender is one thing correct then gender we show for male female setting then field caption is toggle attrition retention 2 it is another in the same sheet another column is toggle attrition retention 2 so provide that value this is the column on which we will be applying the filter what value we are going to select either attrition or retention what is the value uh, see here coming the value is x employees x employees is for attrition so we have to select x employees okay then uh, mark then we have to select the mark action so that we will be uh, know the detail but for the values let's see okay okay let's see if it is selecting whether the values it is taking x employees for attrition apply filter nothing happening okay instead of x employees let's give the attrition you have to check if this one not working then this will definitely work okay attrition apply filter this is working okay now you saw we have only selected this 87 this is i am working on the pie chart or do not chart okay toggle attrition retention mark is like this 87 if i will try to get the data now okay it will only give me the 87 not the 501 
only 87 is coming attrition value okay and if i want to filter it filter it then only 87 will be present and this will be gray means instead of gray out it will go to the background that is hidden perform the filter action see only 87 is shown so what action you need to perform as per your test case or test scenario you apply that you need to form this string okay as a text on which seat on which column you are going to apply the filter and provide the value and the action you need as per your test scenario set here apply the filter after that again set the seat name from which seat you are taking the value let's say from this you are taking so kpi2 so kpi2 is the seat name of this total attrition get data you will get the 87 value okay it is giving you apply the filters as required then capture the values from all the seats and then compare okay it should be same so hmm, if this 87 matches to this 87 then pass otherwise fail the test case so these are uh, some action items i performed let's try on some different one hmm, let's select this bar graph attrition trend okay uh, before that let's perform some action on this toggle switch let me reload the page and see what is happening it is currently showing the attrition and retention both okay attrition is ex employees and retention is the current employees okay then uh, it is the percentage 16.1 out of this this is total attrition this is current employees if i click on this toggle button it will show only attrition when it is on it will show only the attrition details see no retention the gray color or dark color is not anywhere only the attrition is on male attrition is 150 and female attrition is 87 and the that column retention column goes away so how to toggle this switch okay so for that inspect here i am just demonstrating you how you can apply filters or perform filter actions on different types of charts or uh, controls appearing on the screen so you it will be easy for you the first step is get the seat name seat name is toggle switch okay seat name is toggle switch okay seat name is toggle switch then on toggle switch if i want to select what would be the value so get the uh, data from toggle switch get data and monitor this call what would be the response capture the response okay it is the column name is toggle attrition retention one okay so on this column double five toggle attrition retention one we have to select we have to make on or off okay so for on off what is the value this column accepting this column is accepting the value let's see that it is a boolean value it is accepting okay then it will accept a true false whether you are going to make this switch as a true or false let's say true then you perform the mark operation okay apply filter see now it is on toggle switch this is for toggle switch this is for do not chart 
this is for do not chat okay these are for different kinds this is for grid this is for grid this one is for uh, bar graph I'm trying to cover as much as the types of control or uh, things appearing on the UI so this is toggle button now it is true if you will make it false suppose you want to make it false okay you cannot directly click here through your cell name script clicking the button okay you have to pass your action like this way apply filter it will make the switch off when it is off only attrition is off so both retention will be then appear attrition retention both will appear see the difference okay <coughs> so you can perform this way action on this button okay bar graph we already covered let's uh, select the value this type also we covered right we are selecting the value let's once again cover this job role so for this job role get the seat name what is the seat name given by developer seat name is job role job role on which field we have to apply uh, the values get data so in the api call uh, capture the response format it field caption field caption is job role and it apply it takes value as a string for filtering okay so job role value uh, job role is the column name on which we are going to apply the filter and what is the value we want to select S sales executive job role or research scientist take any one of them let's say laboratory technician we want to select okay this one is a laboratory technician it is selected so sales executive let take or research analysis or uh, anything you can take let's take human resource the last one human resources you have to pass the exact values okay then let's say mark if you apply this filter it will select that one human research see human research is selected 12 and 40 are two values it will come under like the first category bar graph human resources if you will now get the data only the human resources data will come get data see 40 one value 40 you have to take while uh, traversing the JSON after getting the value in your script through Java code or any language you are using to manipulate your script or write your script the 40 and uh, there are two values 40 and 12 okay one value is 12 okay 40 and 12 what are the like the 5 5 is something some other thing okay you need not to capture that so for 12 if you want to take the attrition that this index you have to capture okay the last index i think and for 40 you have to capture this index in the json okay you can take the json viewers help to look the index in a good manner format so see from this one you can take human resource current employees is retention okay 
you take the fourth index as a 40 and for human resources x employees means a attrition you capture the 12 okay 12 by any index if you are capturing fourth through array of fourth in the json array you can using json object you can parse this and take the fourth index so 40 will be for retention and the 12 is for the attrition okay so you can take the value similarly suppose if i want to again select only this 12 okay both are selected only this 12 suppose if i want to select or this 40 only i want to select so how how will i do that so this is attrition retention see another column there okay just let me press ctrl z okay let me get data again and then in the api call take the response and see the what field are there what fields are there toggle attrition retention 2 this is the uh, this is the uh, switch okay for attrition retention on this column we are going to apply the filter what types of value it takes it takes a string okay uh, it takes a string so we'll have to provide the value let's take the value suppose we are going to see the select the retention mm, retention and we want to perform mark operation let's select this i copied this let me refresh the page so that it will load as the at the initial stage how it loads in that way it will be loading okay then i will be applying the filter to that filter our filter string is ready through selenium script i have to just set the value once the page is get ready okay means loaded successfully then i have to click on apply filter so what we can make while setting the value page is not loaded you can make this button anyone as disable okay and once loading is successful then you can enable it so that and continuously check through your script that this button is enabled or not if enabled initial state was disabled if enabled that means page has been loaded successfully but uh, that part we have not designed yet let me refresh the page again maybe the tableau server is busy that's why it is not loading the page even if you have directly open the page it will not load because the time is generic only i am calling that page in my inside my frame okay oh the url i copied this one apply the filter in uh, okay see only retention is selected everywhere okay but if i have to select human resource then retention then i have to again pass the filter like if you manually selecting then what you will be doing selecting the filter let's say human resource then selecting this so two actions simple selecting human resource first then this one let me do the same first let's select apply the filter action one to select the human resource only okay it will select the human resource like manually you select suppose your test case or test scenario says select the human resource then you have done it through selecting the human resource suppose it says now select the <coughs> retention then on human resource now retention will be apply because earlier no selection was there that's why it up selected for all okay it is selecting for all so how to um, select in a chain the both uh, that actually we need to think because i have not designed the function javascript function in that way in that thing we have to pass array of values okay 
n number of values to that let's uh, do that so one thing i can do here instead of this mark first thing i will be doing this as filter filter okay apply filter human resource now human resource is there then i can apply mark apply filter attrition is selected okay let deselect it manually i deselected okay human resource is selected now if i apply filter retention will be selected in this way we you can do that another thing in the next lecture i will let you know how to apply n number of filters at one go okay if multiple values somewhere we have to select here multiple employee ids how we can do that i will let you know okay the last example let me tell you this uh, bar graph how to select that because almost everywhere we selected on the sheet this bar graph i think it is the same in this way you can select it but there is no proper uh, heading like master degree is there no heading so how you can select it let's see that so to see that let's select on this bar and get the seat name quickly i will show you seat name is attrition trend attrition trend let's get the data from there the api call it says the response capture the response it is very easy actually this tableau automation there is nothing much more to do we are selecting month attrition date on this column we can apply again toggle attrition retention that thing is also here but currently i am going to select the month as per the month value okay december 2021 so on this column i will be putting my value and let's take what is the value it is december 2021 okay then what i am going to select mark refresh the page reload it so if you are going to apply the filter mark then only december will be selected sorry is there any december december 2021 attrition date not selected okay if you will filter enter thing is uh, gone to the background so no this is will perform mark you can filter to select that but mark operation is will be uh, working here but somewhere we, i think we made mistake let me copy this thing get data sorry inspect in the network tab get data actually that is already there okay it is taking date time so we have to provide this value okay. let me reload the page we have to provide the date time value there the formatted value we have given it is not accepting that then we have to provide the value in the way it is taking okay like suppose for december 
the December value let's select that one then get data so that only that thing will here we have to provide this value in the script let me change that this is for December if you want to select December it will be this then apply filter it is not taking let's select only this person apply filter no it is not taking actually I am trying to apply the filter on any of the bar here but here as per the description it is stating that the column is correct okay it is date time the format is currently not known okay format validation so means need to check with the dev actually what type of value they are initiating in the action because what you are performing on UI they are also providing the action for that it is not well specified here so the proper format let's say april 2022 i tried like the value i am getting from the sheet this value i tried with it's not selecting that okay even if i provide this value it is also not taking that so it is actually a little bit rnd subject because the format instead of string he has given date time format so in which type it would take need to check with developer with that how he is taking the value inside this sheet to apply the filter otherwise if i want to select all the attritions then we can do that in this way suppose this one another because all are attrition here okay so all the attrition are selected actually it is for the trend verification not to select one bar so what you can do as an workaround you can take all the data because it is for so only purpose if you select here nothing nowhere the filter actions are defined to appear okay to or to affect because consider it from the end user's point of view functionality if you select here 150 then 150 would be shown everywhere everything would refresh this will be refreshed okay see this is refreshed 78.9 percent now it is 85 percent so actions are related dev has means linked the actions to these okay if, if it is 150 then all these would change to 150 and this percentage will change but based on this selection there is nothing happening okay so if you want to compare here actually you have to capture all the trends these are not subject to filter okay so because bars we can select in this way like I told so here if you want to capture the value just get the data and for any month let's say you can take the value take the JSON and compare like for April it is 38 you can see here for April April it is 38 you can take and compare like way so in the next session we will try to uh, automate this sheet with the help of selenium okay thank you thanks for watching this lecture